Uh, look, dude, here's what we need to focus on. And this has been my focus for the last three days, yes. four days. I've been very autistic for Mexican cartels. Yes, dude. Mex- How did we get through that whole episode without bringing up the cartel? Oh, you had to go through JFK. I had to get JFK. But Mexican cartels, dude. This is what I've been up to. I, I have a book one. called El Narcos. Shit Rules is by Eowyn Grio. It sounds sick. Um, El Narco, dude. Shit Rules. Although it was, I think it was written in like 08, so it's going to leave out a lot of stuff. Like Chapo breaking out. <laughs> yeah, cool yeah. shit. You already know all that anyway. I already know all that. But the it, I've been l- listening to that book, so I go to sleep every night to Mexican cartels. Yeah. While I've been awake, I've been playing a Narcos video game. I've been playing Ghost Recon Wildlands. Shit Rules. Damn. Please give me night vision and a silenced assault rifle breaking into houses. That's, That's all fun. I need. That's pretty fun. <laughs> That's all I need. Really? Where's yes, all this? It's the coolest shit in the world. This occurs in Bolivia. I believe that's where Dirty Deeds is from. Really? Or is he from Belize? Belize. All right. Damn, he's from, Just don't ruin the show. He's from Ma- he's from McAfee's. Which one? Oh yeah, McAfee yeah, yeah. Belize. Yes. That's sick. McAfee went down and tried Dorian to ruin Dorian's. He's a Belizean. Just that's what happened. McAfee went Don't down there and got a bunch of <laughs> got a bunch of Dorians to work for him. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, great. I need sure. you to kill this guy's dog. Okay, fine. All right. Oh, oh hell yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, so I've been playing a Narcos video game before. While I sleep and drive, I'm listening to a no- book on Narcos, and then I rewatched Narcos Mexico. I mean, dude, pure Narcos. How have you not killed somebody? I've retained. How have you not killed somebody? I've retained yet? none of it. Really? <laughs> it's crazy. What are they up to? I don't know. I just like the machismo and the music for sure, and just mutilating and torturing your enemies. Did you ever see the uh, like the live leak version of cartel video? There's like yeah. a, there's like channels just dedicated to cartel yes. videos. I I was on those. Or like while they were taking were place. Really? Yes. The main board. <laughs> the main board used to be all cartel shit. Yeah. Well, it used to have a thread dedicated to cartel shit. The main board was like pre Reddit. Like this yeah, that yeah, was yeah. like I was on that shit. True. But yeah, I remember watching the guys get chainsawed, all that shit. You ever watch that one? No. It's the craziest shit you've ever seen. This it's guy two dudes chainsawed. sitting next to each other about to get chainsawed to death. I think it was by Los Zetas. The Zetas, dude. Damn. Los Zetas. Uh Zeta's fucking rule. But these two dudes sitting next to each other, they get chainsawed. The one dude, it goes through him like this, from like this shoulder, like that. Ah. Uh, so the guy's. Pretty, pretty easily? The guy's saying, oh yeah, it goes, it's a chainsaw. It literally yeah, just yeah. Zzz, straight through him, Woo. cuts him like this, and then into the other guy's arm, who's sitting next to him. The guy doesn't even flinch. He's like, with a chainsaw into his arm, he's just like. Damn. Like they're the hardest, craziest dudes on earth. And then they're like, all right, we gotta kill him with a knife. And like, hold it up and. Yeah, it's I know crazy. knives it's, are a little harder than knives are very gross. Right? And then then you see somebody like <laughs> like they make a pretty oh. gruesome. I mean, it's terrible, and I I don't know how I used to be able to watch that stuff. I can't at yeah. all anymore. But that's tough, dude. Listening to a British guy read it out loud before bed isn't that bad. Kind of nice. It's nice. I fall asleep to a nice British guy being like, Lasetas, forty bodies were littered across the street. <laughs> what was going on in El Chapo's? But no, Zetas. <laughs> The Zetas were the Gulf Coast of Mexico. Mm-hmm. Dude, Mexico's nuts. I don't yeah. know if you know about Mexico. I've been there. They, a they are nuts, dude. Yeah. As far as like their government, they had, they had a one party government forever. Vincente Fox, I think, was the first. I remember Fox. Mm-hmm. So that we were alive Sounds for that. That was like there, the yeah. first real Democrat. Which they have a one Democratic party? Democratic Yeah, they had one party. The IR. IRF? So they were, they were just elections that, like, there's one political party. Yeah, and then one guy lost to a guy, and they were like, oh, the computer shut down. Sorry, that election doesn't count. Yeah. Damn. They got wild. And then there was, like, a huge earthquake in Mexico City, and the government, like, really fucked up. So then Democrats started – other parties started showing up. But uh, – What do they have now? Uh, they have – it's a Democratic okay. country. But – I'm saying do they have a couple I, – I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm in 2008. That's when this book is. I mean, you know the Founding Fathers explicitly stated they didn't want a true democracy a bunch of times, so they wrote all the documents. What do you mean? They didn't want a true democracy. The Founding Fathers of America. I'm talking about America now. Yeah. You know, they, they didn't want a democracy at all. Why not? They were like, we don't, we don't, they're like, we're not going to let poor people vote. That's stupid. 
they were, like said it a bunch of times. They're like, dude, that'd be a disaster. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, was, yeah. You're ruining our democracy. What an absolute disaster! That would be. Every you want every idiot to vote? No, yeah, they, no. they were very much against being like horrible. Everyone veers them. They're like, oh, they're the fat. they're like we're like poor people suck and are dumb. Yeah. Apparently, they said that a bunch of times. Yeah, but imagine poor people in the. 17 oh, yeah. 1770 can you imagine poor people dude there's a poor person no tv no school they're just poor and just like dude, i mean I the why, they just lived in the woods just dumb. Well, yeah exactly just weren't a even guy dumb. in the woods weren't even dumb i wouldn't even say dumb yeah just, feral you meet a guy and be like, <laughs> yeah <laughs> just be a, a man in the woods like, <laughs> ah, ah. like all right we gotta let him pick who <laughs> is controlling this new republic but all right. go ahead zetas are on the on the east coast mm -hmm. they're in the gulf that's like the gulf cartel the zetas started out as special forces Mexican soldiers nice. that like splintered off which is crazy because back then the only like the police all get bought for the most part it's easy to corrupt that but the the military was supposed to be like the guys that never did it yeah but then Z1 Z1 I'm sure it's just Z1 but I'm listening to a British guy read this book so it's Z1 yeah fuck <laughs> probably Z1 um Who's Zed one? He was like the first special forces guy to flip, and then he recruited a bunch of other special forces and soldiers to be the first like military paramilitary like hitmen for a cartel, and they just started getting. They were like they fought the military, and they just started. They started. They started their own shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the leader of that group got fuck. That's got to be fun. So the head of Z one Z one got killed, fuck. Because then the the government was just like, all right, fuck it, gloves are off. We're just killing. Yeah, like we can't we can't try to do this traditionally where we'd arrest you because they're just breaking out and fight. So then it became a war. There was a drug war, and this is like two thousand two, two thousand three, and uh, it's just fucking. Cra I mean, it's it's crazy. And they we taught them how to torture. Like they yeah. got s training from the CIA on how to torture people, how to like what to do, how to do it. Jeez. There's like handbooks that the the U.S. gave them on how to torture. Pretty chill. Sweet. We do yeah. rule. Yeah, we know a couple. Yeah, we know a couple things. <laughs> Back to the Zetas, dude. I mean, hit me with that, dude. I'm thinking about. I was just fantasizing about starting like an army with my boys, dude. I'm like, you guys want to fucking start our own army? We gotta be drenched. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Los Aguas. Damn, dude. So they just fully bucked the system and were like, let's go. Just yeah. But the Sinaloans, dude. You gotta watch the Sinaloans. So this is what happened. The Sinaloans. That's like El Chapo. Yeah. That's the fucking guys you hear. That's fucking El Jefe de Jefe. Come on, bro. That's fucking the rules, dude. Gallardo. El jefe de jefes. Damn. Okay, so the Zetas the the were just chilling. They were just doing their thing. <clears throat> I have it. <clears throat> East Coast. <clears throat> Gulf Cartel. Sinaloans on the West Coast. Like Baja, all that. Although Baja is something different now. Sinaloa is a state on the West Coast of Mexico. You know how there's like that thing that sticks yeah. down Baja? Mexico. Well, no, but yeah, I, I completely... I almost lied and said yes. I'm trying to be. That's all right. Honest. Yeah, <clears throat> it's California. It's called Baja California. Uh, it's like okay, that long okay. line that yeah. sticks down. The Sinaloa cartels were like the first. Like this guy named uh, I just said it, Gallardo. He like <laughs> Gall Gallardo. Don't you dare make fun, <laughs> of dude. He's the jefe de jefes. Yeah, I know. Just you know. He linked all the plazas, <laughs> dude. He linked all the fucking cartels to. Oh, sick. So they linked. They were selling weed. Yeah. And then the Colombians started shipping coke to the united states through mexico mm -hmm. and they they were doing they were using the bahamas for a while but that got shut down so then they had to use mexico mm -hmm. to ship all their cocaine in mexico wasn't really creating the cocaine yeah they were just shipping it in and the colombians were like we own these fucking idiots mexicans are dumb mm -hmm. we're the fucking we're the best nobody can say and then mexico was just like all right well how about we kill you guys like they, mexico yeah. was just like all right this is ours now yeah and so then mexico became huge and it was under gallardo and then Chapo, dude, El Chapo <laughs> rose up. But this is all Sinaloa, so yeah. it's all these dudes. These like they were considered like hicks. Mm -hmm. They're like mountain people. Just growing weed and shit. Yeah, they were growing weed up there. Like, great, dude. You should. These weed fields are so sick. They, 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 yeah, they were putting in like that black fly. Like huge weed. Did you ever hear fields. about the black fly chemicals? They got rid of sticks and stems. What? They were the ones who started they growing did full stuff. Full sense of me. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, the seedless. They went like full seedless. They weed. created so it was just female weed plants, and it had to be so far Sense away from other yeah. weed so it didn't cross pollinate that they had to go build their own weed fields, so like they, up in the mountains. They claim they started that. Yes. No, they did. That goes back way long. Uh, I mean, maybe they started bringing that first stuff around, but how like, long? I mean, like there was like tie sticks in the seventies. You know, this so, is this is back is them. then. Yeah. Maybe they did. I don't. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna yeah, yeah. How dare out. you? I just. Give her, I'm well, part of me, cartels. Pardon me. Well, 
Well, dude, it's like... Mi compañero? Que bruto. <laughs> Lo siento. <laughs> no, I just... Whenever you see, like, that brick weed... Because they, they used to do, like, stuff that was, like, sprayed with, like, black fly chemicals. Oh, you know, well, that's what happened. Really? So then there was the war on drugs. And the Mexican government started... Sp- where they were allowed to spray the fields yeah. with pesticides oh, that's and shit. Was, yeah. er, not pesticides, but shit that killed the fields. Mm-hmm. And then the cartels were like, fuck it, we're going to use them anyway. Yeah. So then they would ship poisonous weed to the United States, and yeah. that's when shit really got bad for them. Dude. But then they started, then they fucked over the Colombians and took coke and uh-huh. became huge. So it was all these, all these West Coast hillbillies versus yeah. the fucking Gulf Coast. And then the Zetas. All right, here <laughs> All right. we go. So the Mexican government was just like, I'm going to turn your sense of me into swag. And they're like, fuck it, we don't care, dude. We're going to sell this swag. <laughs> your weed's not going to be so dank anymore. <laughs> your weed is not dank at all. It's not even sticky at all. This stuff sucks, dude. <laughs> your pounds are going to have nothing but shake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Sinaloans are the guys. They're the fucking shit. That's a good territory, too, that little stretch of yeah, California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. California, all that, but the real stretch ended up becoming the Gulf Coast because Dallas and Houston started blowing up, like becoming major yeah, cities yeah. over the last like 40 years. Um, but Z- the Zetas, so this guy, I forget his name, he has the Gulf Coast, he hires special forces. The head special forces guy gets killed, the leader gets captured. So then the Sinaloans are like, all right, they don't have a leader, it's time for us to move in on the Gulf Coast. That's when just a huge drug war erupts because all those special forces dudes are still there. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, we'll run this. Yeah, like, what the fuck? And then all the Sinaloans, are, so El Chapo versus the fucking so it's like, special forces. It's, it's like the coolest shit. Tactical ever. shit versus, like, dudes with musta- mustaches, yes. basically. Wild shit. And then they all they do is torture and kill each other. And like, Damn. The, the Zetas have hitmen that were, like, leaving messages. They're like, fucking keep sending these fucking bendejas. Like all that, which turns out that just means pubes. What? Bendejas. I'm an asshole. Dude. Bendeja is a pube. It's a pube. I think it's Bendeja. <laughs> these pubes. Yeah. I thought Bendeja was asshole. I keep sending those pubes that we're going to keep killing. I think it translates directly to pubes. <laughs> I don't think there's... They don't have a three-syllable <laughs> word for pubes in Mexico, uh, dude. You'd be surprised. <laughs> dude. Bendeja. Dude, please. Yeah, we need to fact check that because one of the words means pubes. It says pubis. Yeah. What? So Bendeja is our pubes. Yes. I always thought I was an asshole. So some damn those motherfuckers were calling me pubes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I am an asshole. Yeah, what are you doing? You gonna do about it? <laughs> fucking, you're yeah, I'm just an asshole, man. You're fucking pube. Yeah, I was like a dishwasher. Yeah, like little know? fucking pubes. Yeah, they've been they have, and I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm kind of a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so um, anyway, that's what's win- going who's on. Who's winning right now? Who's like currently right going? now? Now again, I'm back in 08. I, I've I've been looking at. It. I think the Sinaloans are still doing work. Yeah. MS-13 started getting brought down. Swag. MS-13 was from L.A. Trump and El Salvador. Saved, saved us from them. They did. And I, you know what's funny? I looked at... This is how fucking gay our country is. Yeah. I looked at I looked at MS-13's Wikipedia page, and one, at the bottom of the paragraph, they're like, even though they you know count for less than 1% of the murders in this country, Republicans are acting like... And it's like, these are the worst people on earth. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, like just because the Republicans definitely exaggerate that it's like a menace that we have to worry about, doesn't mean you should include that in the article about literally people that torture and murder. Yeah, for sure. Constantly. Yeah. Like, oh, and the Republicans are exaggerating about how bad it is. <laughs> it's like, no, leave that part out. Well, that's, that was Trump's fatal flaw, because I think now that's what politics have devolved into. It's like, you got to just come up with the spookiest tale, dude. Spooky, dude. Spooky. dude. MS-13 is very spooky. Turned out Trump went down. He doubled down hard on Mexicans. Dude. He came up with spooky tales about Mexicans. Everyone's like, ooh, that sounds pretty spooky. I might <laughs> yeah, love yeah, this yeah. guy. And Biden was like, how do you feel about a global pandemic? And everyone's like, oh. Oh, like, oh that's, that's way scary. way spookier. And Trump's like, yeah. come on, guys. Mexicans. Mexicans. Are so scary. Watch Breaking Bad season three, guys. The fucking <laughs> fucking head on a turtle. Come on. Yeah, they. They're in your high schools. Mexicans are in your high schools. <laughs> Remember they said MS13 was recruiting in high schools in Texas. Yeah, yeah. Your, MS- your son, your son, your sweet white boy is gonna join MS13. He's gonna get a face tattoo. He's gonna just look like Post Malone. Is that what you want? Los Malones, <laughs> Los Post Malones. Come on, I, dude. I, I, every time they said suburbs during the debates, made me so happy. They're like in the suburbs. And Nobody like, knows the suburbs. Trump would be like, you than don't me. even know the suburbs. The only are. time you've been in the like, suburbs is when you get lost. I was in Erie for ten years. I, I grew up in the suburbs. It's like, you don't Man? Even know the suburbs. I know the suburbs. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> what the fuck? So who was when? I'm sorry. Right, Sinaloa anyway, is killing it. I think. I think right now Sinaloa. I think uh, Sinaloa. Sinaloa's are the. They're like the, they're the fucking guys. They've. 
There's the Felix Brothers, the and and hey, I forget the first part. The Felix Brothers, they're pretty out. good. They followed after Gallardo went went down. And then they they had a beef with Chapo. I mean, they all fight each other yeah. pretty often. Not, I can see that being not, they don't get not along. The chillest group. <laughs> None of them are that chill. <laughs> not really a live and let live. Group. But the Zetas started this whole thing of not they didn't start it, but they started this thing of like torturing and very publicly killing everybody. So mm -hmm. they'd kill like thirty dudes. The Sinaloans or whoever, any pubes that were sent to them, yeah, they would kill. <laughs> they would cut like they they literally cut your head off, cut your dick off, put your dick in your mouth, put your head on a pike in the middle of town, like thirty heads. Yeah, it's the scariest shit ever. It's horrible. And they do it all the time. You think chicks are like, damn, those guys are fucking those guys cool. rule. Well, that's yeah. kind of what backfired. So the government arrested a bunch of Zetas, mm -hmm. and we're like, here's a picture of these guys. This is humiliating for them. We caught them. They look, and then they took a picture, and everybody looked cool as fuck. It's a bunch of jack dudes in like tactical gear with like assault rifles. Damn! And everybody was like, "Yo, I wish I was a Zeta. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are awesome." That yeah, works. it's cool though. I mean, it, it, I've always, I mean, I oh yeah, and I watched Sicario twice last week. Damn, dude! Dude, I'm fully. So you're just. Fully I'm all in. about it. You're fully in. And I don't know one thing about it. <laughs> no, you, you got, you got, I'm doing all right. Nice little lay of the land. Well, that kind of it's also the book. The book uh, the, about El Narcos is the show Mexican, the show Narcos Mexico. Got you. Is, I mean, it's the story. It's the same story. You're oh, you're reading and watching it. Reading and watching. And I'm like, I know what happens here. That guy, pretty cool. Damn. Yeah. Kiki Camarena, he gets killed. <laughs> they leave out the part that he got raped in the uh, in the show. Really? Yeah, the DEA agent. That's what happened. The why agent raped him? They got raped. The DEA agent got fucking... Raped? I watched another one, dude. There's this fucking thing on Amazon about... Kiki Camarena getting abducted, and it's fucking sick. Dude. Who raped? Wait, who got raped? The Mexican cartels. They kidnapped a DEA agent. Yeah, and they shoved a fucking stick up his ass after they like they did bad things to that. They're bad hombres. Yeah, dude, and that sure. kind of started a hard crackdown on the Mexican cartels. Yeah, they don't like that. Once dude. they killed one American, Americans were like, "All right, knock it off." It's just the fucking guys. Those those federal jobs. Those dudes pretty much chill. A lot. Like, they just kind of kick their feet up and bolt. You know, they, they do, like, breaking through people's houses and shit, but there's a lot of downtime and a lot of chilling. And just one day being like, you got a fucking stick up his ass? <laughs> Fuck, well, man. We're going to have to go kill all these guys. You just, you just ate, like, a delicious lunch for two hours. <laughs> yeah. and you're just like... Like, but, oh, sweet. I'm going to take, I'm going to off Friday, Saturday, two weeks. Maybe Mike said a stick up his ass. You're like, God damn it. Like, can I still take vacation? <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, it's crazy. No, that, uh. So, you got a stick up. You got to treat it like a third world dictator. Yeah. Jeez. They tortured him. I don't know. Yeah, but what, what do they? Are they just? Did they like try to get information? I there's a show on Amazon about it that's fucking why. There's this one cop. Like, it, there's a cop. that It's like a documentary about it. They were cops that were like on the take for the cartel that were there that knew about the mm -hmm. abduction and all that. And there's one cop that's like got the worst PTSD you've ever seen, or some sort yeah. of weird mental disability. Probably, P yeah. But like they're interviewing him, he's like. Like, his eyes, like, it's crazy. Like, if he was in a movie, you'd be like, all right, that character sucked because there's nobody on earth that's like that. <laughs> like, this is this guy was overacting. But in he's like, <laughs> he's like, the blood, the body's everywhere. Oh, my like, God. Like, you got to see this guy. It's awesome. Fuck. Yeah, it gets you fired up, dude. Damn. What do you get pumped up for? What do I get pumped up? I, I get pumped up when the U.S. is just like... <laughs>